What if we went with a theme that was like the old gas stations, you know, where you had to like go get the key at the counter uh -huh. and then go into the gas station and, and you, this is, this is a sink like from one of those. It kind of reminds me of a urinal. I could try it if you want to. I'm Jenny Bruski. When I'm not listening to ghost stories, I love giving new life to items that others may think of as junk. From mantles to furniture to entire rooms, I take what may have been forgotten and make it better than ever before. These are my projects. And this is Junkin' with Jenny. So today we're going to kill the green monster, which is the hall bathroom, because it's not functional and it doesn't work for a growing little girl and it does not reflect our style for the rest of the house. So I'm really excited to get my hands on it and see what we can do. I love this. This is kind of, this is, this is old world craftsmanship. It's old something. It's, it's not it, look, Somebody sat here and they etched in these beautiful dandelion daffodil mixes this is a it was outdated when they built the house i love it it's sad it's just it's not functional for a little girl and i hate that you can see all the inner workings back here and it's just very dated and we need a lot more storage i kind of like this sink i know what you're saying we're like they they need more space but i mean what if we went with a theme that was like the old gas stations, you know, where you had to like go get the key at the counter uh -huh. and then go into the gas station and, and you, this is, this is a sink like from one of those. It kind of reminds me of a urinal. I could try it if you want to. <laughs> Welcome to 1999, Forest Green. And the good thing about this floor is it is structurally sound. So because this is going to be a preschooler's bathroom, we're going to go over it with a vinyl plank that is indestructible, waterproof, and slip resistant. So it will be a much better fit for bath splashes, little feet, middle of the night trips. Every time she pees and she misses, she slips and falls. You know, I still kind of got that problem too, a little bit. I, I noticed, was... but I think really and truly we need something that's not slippery so that she doesn't slip. You would think with the grout lines that that would fix it, but it doesn't. Forest green. Yeah. That's, I love the 90s all the way. Yeah and marbled, not just solid. I love marbled. that. That's, that's. Master countertops. Could, I could just sit here and, and miss the pot while listening to some uh, Tony, Tony, Tony. Yeah. That's a good day. I tried to make this light fixture work, but spray paint didn't fix the ugly on this. So I think it's just time to update it, something more energy efficient and a lot more aesthetically pleasing. Daddy, what you doing? I'm getting the sink out of your bathroom. Why? Well, because we're gonna put that new vanity in. Oh, okay. I wonder what kind of wallpaper that we get this time. <laughs> you mean we rip it out? Yeah. What kind of magical 1980s wallpaper are we gonna find? Yeah. You ready for the wallpaper? <laughs> yes. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. What do you think it's gonna be? Maybe I'm gonna And it is, take that off. Okay. What is it? Forest green. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine when the walls matched the floor and it was just a forest green nightmare? Oh, this would just, it would be like, it would be like peeing in a jungle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here it is, the moment of truth. We took the screws out. Oh Ooh. my God. You know what was an, a bonus to the, uh, the jungle. Take a look at this. Look at look at what we have here. Naked cherubs. There's little little pieces of naked cherubs left. Oh, that was on top of the. Green. Look at this. So this bathroom not only had this, but up here was a, a second border of naked cherubs. That's awesome. Gosh, if only we could turn back time. I love working with these vinyl planks because they are so easy. You can literally cut them with scissors, but as easy as they are to work with, they're extremely tough. They are great for kids, pets, klutzy people like myself. They work wonderfully. 
So all in all, I'm really happy with how the bathroom turned out. I like that the floor is no longer green and I like that it's also um, no longer a slip hazard when little one's getting out of the bathtub. The new vanity, I really like that because it hides the clutter that goes along with small children and um, it will be very good for growing and storage of things as she gets into her teen years. The new mirror is a lot bigger than the old mirror, so even though there's no storage behind it, it reflects a lot more light back into the bathroom. So I love how we switched out the light fixture. Um, it's a more rustic industrial look, which is more my style. It's uh, got Edison bulbs in it, which are great. You can put those in any fixture, but this has the um, industrial piping for the conduit, so it really shows off that industrial style. And for an accent, we added a nice little old window that we found and put on a chain. Um, underneath it, we put a Singer sewing machine drawer box that's from an old turn of the century machine and used it essentially as a small flower box, so it adds a little bit of a feminine touch to the bathroom.